Hello everyone, welcome back to new video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a pretty cool functionality of future, which is buttons. So yeah, we're just gonna take a look at how we can manipulate buttons and work with them, etc, etc. But first of all, let's start off by um, telling you an important notice right now that we're gonna use classes. If you don't know what classes are, I would like recommend going to watch a video about what classes are. But I'll probably make a video in the future, but yeah, I'll I would still like watch a video about classes are otherwise it's gonna be like kind of hard for you to insert what's going on right now but yeah you can just keep going along it's not that complicated but yeah I'm not gonna go deep into it so first of all as I said we need to create a uh, create class so let's just do this and we're just gonna create a new class and for example call it uh, a button literally let's call it a button and in here we're gonna pass in our discord ui dot view whoops the view and uh, i think view with a capital v yep uh, yep uh, like as you can see there is a capital v uh then we're gonna create our init define our init i'm not gonna go deep what it and what's the, the like the init is but it's just needed to run your class you will just enter in as I need it, uh, to initialize, not run your class. So we just pass in self in the init and then uh, super uh, and take in our init, the children, the init, and we're gonna pass in our timeout equal none. So uh, let's just really real quick tell you what's going on here. Uh, I'm not gonna go and deep what super is. I would just you prefer like this is how you create a basic class. But what what they define here in our timeout equal none means this button will stay on like when you run the slash command in the future. Uh, you it will stay on as long as the bot is on. But if you restart the bot, it's gonna it's not gonna stay there. I will make a video about persistent like persistent uh, buttons. But for now, if you restart the bot, it's gonna not like it's not gonna work. But it's gonna stay there as long as your bot is uh, like on. So now we're gonna create our button stuff, which uh, we're gonna call in our Discord uh, UI dot button to create our actual button, and we're gonna label it test button for example, or just test B. And as always, async dev, and we're just gonna like, call it test B as we called our label here. So what the label is, it's just what's gonna appear on the button, like you see a button and there's text inside of it. Yeah, that's this label is what's gonna appear there. You can put in like integers, but you're just gonna add like a str string to the integer. And yeah, uh, let's uh, pass in self. And you're gonna pass in interaction. Interaction. I think that's how you spell it. Yep, uh, and Discord uh, interaction with a capital interaction. And we're gonna get uh, the button and pass it in as Discord.ui button with a capital B. And then we'll just like skip for now. Here, we, here is where you put in the functionalities of what the button does. When someone clicks on the button, the stuff is gonna happen after someone clicks on the button is gonna be here. I don't know what, what you wanna do, but here we go. And now we're gonna create our generic slash command, which is gonna be like uh bot dot uh, tree. Yeah, dot tree dot command. That's it. Dot command. And you're gonna pass in just the name for now. It will call it test B. You can call it something else, but same thing. Doesn't matter. Now I'm the async def and of course test B interaction discord dot interaction. There we go. And yeah, what's gonna happen here? We're gonna send the message, which is gonna be the interaction. Uh, the response, we're gonna send the message. And here we're gonna put in the uh, content and the... Uh, oh my... Oh, it's view. It's called view. All right, we got it. So the content, for example, is gonna be... There's a button down here. And in the view, we're gonna put in this, a button with the parentheses. And yeah, that's it. Let's just run our bot and test it out. All right, here now testing. Let's see, uh, the command is called this B. We should have a new command. Yep, we do, we do. And yep, as you can see here, there it, the command works. There is a new button down here, a new persona. Should be interaction failed. Yep, here we go. Interaction failed because we didn't do like anything. We just, we had pass over here. We didn't like do anything. So yeah, that's why interaction is failed. We can, uh, let's just say, for example, make it send a message away. Uh, Interaction channel.send or something or yeah a channel.send and you'll just put in the content like reply 
uh, can be as easy as that. Start the ball and come back here. We'll do our slash test B again. Test B, run it, and you, you, can, you can press on it. And if you press on it, it yeah, we just said the reply. Don't worry about this interaction fail, just do it again. Reply. And yep, it sent it sent our message. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Now let's go more in depth, like in UI, add in more buttons, etc. So yeah, let's just go ahead and start with that. So for this, we're just gonna add like a new uh, button over here. You can add as much as you want, by the way. You can add as much as you want buttons, but that's just like yeah, three buttons for now. And all we have to do, like, just change the names over here. That just, just you know, just add bees. Add B just to differentiate between all the buttons that we are sending. If you want to add like a uh, color to our button or like style it out and you know make it look good, uh, so all we have to do is like come in our button, for example, here and add in our style. And it's gonna be like Discord, the I think style or I think button style actually. Button style, yep. And the uh, for example, uh, let's start with the blue. First one's gonna be blurple. Yep, here we go. Blurple. We can put in here the style to something like, uh, let's say, um, like success. And this one for fun, we're just gonna make it uh, danger. Here we go. This one is uh, danger, and yeah, I think yeah, that's it. Like uh, we're just gonna make this one say like reply two, and I don't know like reply three, and yeah, stuff like that. Uh, by the way, we she she hover on this. You can see the documentation here. We have like label, which is we already know the name of the button, like what's gonna appear on it. Custom ID. We'll use this custom ID in the next video. Like we're gonna make persistent button between like bot restarts. When the bot restarts or restarted again, it's gonna be the button we're gonna stay persistent. Disabled. If you want the button to be grayed out, like the button still there but grayed out. Style. Uh, you know the button style. For example, like secondary emoji. If you want like an emoji before the like uh, the uh, label and draw if you want the button in the first row or the second row uh etc you can choose whatever you want you can just put like literally row row two and the button will be in the second row now we can test this out slash test b and here we go as you can see the the other button is in the second row and there's a button down here as you can see the blue and green and one is in our red now if we press on the blue it's gonna say reply and and you're gonna press on the green it's gonna say reply too and you wait a bit if you're gonna press on the red one it's gonna make the uh the reply three and yeah pretty much looking good you have buttons colors the button like actually work when you press on them i mean like uh literally you can just like a couple simple commands you can use buttons for whatever you want you can like change everything to buttons depends on what you like to do i will leave the uh, documentation for the buttons down below but as you can see here you can really quick read out the documentations and it's really helpful uh and yeah so uh yeah i will see you in the next video i think in the next video i'm gonna build like a video about um some like a mini game i don't know like something like that i don't know like, i don't have a top of my head like dice game like some generic games like that is heads or tails some like simple ones you know i will just make it using buttons in the next video and yeah i think yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget that like and subscribe will really help i really appreciate the support in the last videos i hope you have a nice day as, al as always happy coding bye bye